Slater sitting here post game in Oracle Arena. They're breaking down the court right now. Prince is in here tomorrow night. He was actually at the game tonight, uh, which was a, another Thunder loss, second in, in as many nights. 121 106. Warriors beat the Thunder tonight, sweep the season series. The final score is a, not as indicative of, of how competitive it was, really, through I'd say maybe the first 42 minutes. The Thunder again, though, fourth quarter troubles for the second straight night. This wasn't a collapse like. Uh, the Clippers game the night before, but you know the Warriors just outplayed him in the fourth. The Thunder maybe on the second night of this back-to-back -back didn't have uh, you know the needed energy against you know such a good Golden State team, but you know the problems were in, in some ways the same. Kevin Durant turnovers. He had nine tonight, four really sloppy ones in the fourth quarter. He steps out of bounds. He throws a sloppy entry pass. He gets stripped by Andrew Bogut on a double team, uh, and then the other issues: shot selection, particularly Russell Westbrook. Uh, 8 of 24 tonight, 1 of 8 from 3. A lot of early clock, maybe not early clock, but like, uh, you know, 9 seconds on the shot clock and he's just firing up a, a, a contested 3. Just at times when he, you know, you could still try to get a look at the rim, still try to run a little bit of offense. He just, uh, you know, kind of trying to take it on his own at times. He seems to do that at times when the Thunder are struggling. Uh, maybe it's a panic decision, but, uh, you know, it's a concern. And now, the Thunder are 2-6 and six since the All-Star break. This is a team that's not used to losing like this, especially when it's healthy. Um, you know, they faced Milwaukee on Sunday. The schedule eases up a little. I mean, I know they got the Clippers coming up, but then they get the Timberwolves, then the Spurs. So there are some tough games, uh, but they got to get right, and I think they know they need to get right. But, you know, there's not that much time in the season left. Uh, playoffs come in mid-April, and, you know, there's some glaring concerns even though this team still sits at 42 and 20. Here's Kevin Durant post game, Serge Ibaka, Steven Adams, and yeah, Dion. Two and six since the All Star break. What's just kind of the, the mood right now? Oh, that shit sucks. Oh, it sucks. Does, does it feel like it's the same type of issues night after night right now? Yeah, we just gotta you know, do a better job of just closing out games. And you know, we gotta just do a better job trusting one another. You gotta get back to having fun. Is is it not having fun just because it's losing, or you know, both. Is something deeper? It's both. It's both. It's just you know, when we win, everybody happy. When we lose, we gotta still continue to pick one. We gotta continue to pick, you know, one another up. You know, through the good and the bad. And when we lose, we can't just everybody go their own way. We still gotta stay together. We we in this together. You know, nobody not gonna walk through them doors. You know, you know save us. We gotta continue to work. Continue, you know, just playing a game. I mean, it, 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 it got to turn. It got to turn. At the end of the day, I, mean, I feel like everybody been putting in the work. Everybody gets in the gym. Everybody gets their shots up. Everybody. You know, it's a tough stretch right now. Tough. Listen, man, <laughs> tough times don't last. How has it been in the locker room, though? You meeting? It's been fine. It's been fine, you know. We, I, I mean, I think once once the game's over, I think everybody come back the next day with a you know, positive mindset. You know, everybody come in joking, laughing still. I mean, we hate to lose, though. So, of course, it's going to be, you know, a little quiet in the locker room. Everybody still got an attitude, you know, especially the games that we know we should have won. You know, and um, we, like I said, we just got to, like, dig deep, man. You know, playoff stretch is coming up. So, you know, we want to be playing great basketball leading up to that. So, I, I mean, I, I think it's going to turn. I honestly do because every game we right there. Is, is there any kind of domino effect to where the Warriors thing happens, that, you know, back in OKC, and then it kind of leads to the Clippers and to here? I mean, is there any kind yeah, of no? But it, it's them games. Suck. I tell you that game that we know we had, and um, you know, we 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 let them type of games slip away that we know we we can't, mm -hmm. especially in this league because that give that gives you momentum leading up. But you know, well, like I, like I said, man, we gotta do a better job of closing out games. Sticking together, you know. A late third quarter. Yeah. Uh, just ankle twist. Or? Yeah, just a no more, mate. I'm fine now. I like, reacted. Yeah, you overreacted. Yeah, I wasn't even sore, honestly. Just faked it. <laughs> you feel like you'll be good Sunday for sure? Or? Uh, I should be, bro. Just taking it day to day. Just see how it feels tomorrow. Uh, just got a ton of adrenaline in me now, so it's like, you know, you can't really make a final call on it. So. When you guys are healthy, you're not used to losing like this. So you're two and six since the break. Just what's what's the mood around this team right now? Um, I don't know. I think I think we're keeping in high spirits, man. It's just like not going our way, and 
this is the sort of time where you just got to make sure that no one kind of drifts off into their own little little world. And this, we're, we're doing a pretty good job of just staying together and trying to work our way through this. I mean, little storm. Are, are the issues in the games and how they've gone frustrating? Oh, definitely, mate. Definitely frustrating. Especially like we've had like those seven, like we've lost in the fourth quarter. Just all of those ones. They're just yeah, they're, they're, they're tough ones to kind of feel okay about and try and move on. But yeah, just got to try and move on, man. You challenged them three times this season, but you know, don't come up any. You don't face them again until the playoffs. Is that? Uh, a concern at all, just you might go into the playoffs. Oh, we, don't we, we don't play them again. No, you don't. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, what was the question? Just, is it just a concern you might face them down the road and, and you don't even you know, have a win on Is it a concern? Yeah. Uh, no, I think I think um, I think we'll be better. Um, I guess equipped and uh, I guess more have a lot more stamina when that time comes about. So that's to do with like mental focus and being physically ready, optimal, I think we'll be I think we'll be uh, yeah, in, in the best position, I think. How many times have you sprained your ankle? I feel like you've done it at least a couple times I since know, you entered bro. the league. Well, done, yeah, I've done it a ton of times though, but now it's like, it's fine because it's like nothing to sprain anymore, so <laughs> yeah. that's the good thing of spraining so much. Yeah. Right. You know, it's a team, that obviously, you're not used to losing like this. What's just the mood right now around the team? Uh, you know, we'll be noticing some tough game. You know, you know we can do better. You know, it's not like we're just beating ourselves. You know, like you know the game. You know, last night game against the Clippers, we just give them a game. Home against the Warriors, we give them a game. You know, and you know tonight we was out there too. You know, we we lost a couple of games, like we should win. You know, so it's tough. You know, it's tough uh, when you used to win always. Um, but all, all, right now, all we can do is to stay together and keep working and just try to learn from those games and do better. Does it feel like the same issues night after night right now? Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. It's, you know, it's easy to say, but it's tough, you know. Uh, all I can say right now, we just have to stick together. We have to do it together, man, you know. How are you feeling right now? I mean, you had a pretty good night tonight. Yeah, but it's no matter. Pretty good night, you know, when the team lost like that, you know, it's always good when you have a pretty good night and your team win. When you lost like that, so we, we, we lose two back to back to game, you know, of course I'm not gonna feel okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, we just we just uh, uh, made, more, made more plays than we did down the stretch. Are you concerned at all about how this team has played the last couple weeks since the break, or do you think it's just a temporary thing? Um, you know, I think it's a temporary thing. Uh, we definitely had to get out of the control. Um, we're not happy with how we're playing. Obviously, we want to win. Uh, but this is what you see what you made of. It's easy, it's easy for you to come in here and smile. And, Answer you guys' questions uh, with a positive attitude when you're winning. You know, when your back's against the wall, when you, know, when you get through a couple of dark days, this is where you see you are. So I'm excited and uh, looking forward to the rest of the journey. What's been What's been the biggest difference between the way you guys played before the break and what's been happening since? I'm playing better teams for one, and uh, you know, so that always helps. You know, we just. Uh, Defense, we have some games. We've been up and down, inconsistent defensively, and then you know our defense we might be there, and the offense is not. So just some inconsistencies. But like I said, I mean it's an exciting time for me. I'm happy um, that we're going through this uh, because you know, like I said, it's easy to be. Um, you know, we don't want to be front runners. That's not who we are. You know, that's not who I am. And I'm not gonna let the team be that way. So when we lose it, you know, that's when you, that's when you really got to show your character, show who you are. You know, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep our heads up. All our guys are gonna keep continue to stay positive, keep working. How long do you think it'll take before you see what this team is made of, as you said? How you guys respond? You know, next game. Next game. That's the only that's the only opportunity we got. You know, practice, we're gonna come and practice hard in the next game. We gotta you know, go out there and win. You know, that's what that's what it's all about. Point blank, we gotta win. So um, you know, best thing about our league, man, is games come so quick and uh, you know, it's another opportunity for us to you know, bounce back and get better. So I'm you know, back against the wall right now as far as you know where we want to be as a team. But, you know, if you, if you made it to the level, when you had your dark days, you know, and this is how you pull out of them. Is this almost take a perfect game to beat the Warriors? I mean, they didn't play perfect, but they still were tough, you know, tough enough tonight, I guess. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they did what they did. They grinded it out. You know, they made, they ran their offense all game. You know, um, you know they packed the paint and, um, you know, forced us into some tough shots. And you know, I had nine turnovers, you know, and playing in the crowd is tough, you know. So they put two or three guys out there and just shaded us a little bit. And, 
made us kick the ball. We, we got good shots all night, I think. You know, it's just a matter of making them miss them. But for the most part, they, they stuck with what they did. They made some shots. You know, Kerry hit a few, you know, tough threes, uh, you know, uh, four. You know, they got turnovers and they got it going. So, um, you know, so that's the name of the game. You Anything stand out particularly about those first eight minutes or so in the, the first quarter when you guys took control and like some things that you did really well during that stretch? Yeah, we got stops and we ran out. We ain't got easy baskets. You know, we do that. That's what, that's what we excel at in transition when we get stops and run. We, not, we, put, we pass the ball. You know, we, you know, we make the extra pass. We, we make the hockey assists. And, you know, we don't always have to try to get the assists. You know, just you know, make the right play. I think we did that in the third quarter. We did that throughout the game. You know, but I think sometimes that causes turnovers. You know, we made, we made guys may tip the ball here and there, but. I think for the most part, the whole game, we made the right play. Sometimes we didn't finish, but you know, we, uh, we, had to, we had to stick with it. I think that's what good teams do. When you're missing shots, you stay with stay with your offense, and eventually you're going to start making it. So but I think you know, it's a step in the direction, just making the right play. You know, so good on that. And that's the thing. You played some really tough teams this last week, and teams you're most likely face in the playoffs. Yeah. Does that give you an indication of where your team is going and help you sort of gauge them a little bit better for the long stretch? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, a few games we just gave away. So it's not like we've been dominated at all. You know, some games we gave away. You know, uh, but we're excited, man. We, we like our team. We like what we're doing going for. We lost some games. We're all star great. Uh, but we we're, we're not trying to you know, look at it as just the the end of our season. You know, we keep running it through. Um, how many games we got left? 20, 20 games ago before the playoffs. So, you know, that's when the real season starts. So, you want to play good basketball at the right time and just keep running it out, man. That's what it's all about. So, backs, uh, you know, like I said, backs are against the wall right now. Um, but it's, it's easy uh, to be positive and feel happy and, and go on the plane and laugh and joke when we win. But when we lose, let's see what we made of. So, I, I, I like where our team is. I like our attitude. Just gotta keep going. How frustrated are you? Sit, are you with yourself on those turnovers? You know, you had some last night. And something with the I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because we lost, but I played as hard as I could tonight. And it's when I'm gonna make mistakes, and I'm not. I'm not trying to, you know, shy away from them. I did it. I made turnovers. I played in the crowd when I shouldn't have. I tried to make passes that I shouldn't have made. But you know, at the end of the day, I just tried to play it, play the right way. And I'm not gonna play the best game tonight. I shouldn't turn the ball over that many times. Last night, I shouldn't turn the ball over. Something I got to correct. Uh, I don't feel happy about it, but I can lay. I laid it all out there on the floor tonight. That's all I can say. So I just got to grow from it, learn from it, and, and figure out you know how I can make my teammates better, uh, and uh, you know uh, just you know continue to be the be a leader that I am and, and grow from it. But like I said, I, just, I left it all out there tonight. Anybody else?